first I'd like to say glory to God. Let's have a quick table talk. Um, things haven't been easy as far as with this tank. You know, being that I work full time, you know, responsibilities with the wife and kids, it made it very difficult to maintain this tank once a week. So I started to get a little bit of discouraged. Um, my A cans wasn't doing too good. They started to die out, starting to melt away. But um, I was thinking of upgrading the tank when I move when I move out. It, was, it should be the time for me to upgrade my tank. But I can't deal with it now because I cannot attend to the tank once a week. So I was thinking about should I break the tank down, sell the corals, get rid of everything, and wait till I move and start all over. But I'm like, then again, I don't want the money go to waste in what I invested in because I'm really clearly, you know, you don't get the money back when you sell a lot of the things, the livestock I should think. But um, the SPS and everything else is looking good. But just, you know, topping the water off, you know, cleaning the glass and doing water change once a week, you know, with a tank that small, with that small amount of volume of water, it is a challenge. And I cannot, I cannot pay attention to the tank like I want to. Like T65, great buddy of mine, um, I went over his house and he was talking and he did say it, you got to pay attention to your tank. But when you have, you know, little ones, little kids running around and, you know, you got to help the, give a hand out to the wife, help the wife out with the things that's going on in the house and everything. I really don't find that time to sit down in front of the tank and to really pay attention because by the time late night hits, it's, ready, it's, it's already time for me to go to sleep and get ready for work the next day. So, in other words, don't have the time. When I had my 125 gallon, it made it easy. Water changed once a month, you know, and I didn't really have to top off the water like that. And it was pretty good. I didn't have to stay focused on it. So I, in my belief, I truly believe that um, the bigger the tank, the easier. A lot of people agree with me as well, but some people don't, but each his own. Bigger the tank, the easier. So should I upgrade? Should I move? I'm asking Larry, you know what, God, show me the direction of what you want me to do. So I happened to get a call from a buddy of mine um, named Connor. He works at Petco, located in New Jersey, Butler, New Jersey. And um, he sent me a text message telling me that there's um, a guy that's getting rid of a tank. I'm like, all right, I'm not looking to spend money on the tank right now, but let's see what he got. Then he told me that the guy is not selling a tank. He's giving it away for free. Hear me correctly, guys. Giving the tank away for free. So now, once I heard free, I'm like, okay, I gotta check this out. So, uh, we, he gave me the guy's phone number and I gave the guy a call. And the guy said, yes, he got a 90 gallon tank that he given away for free. And um, it's pre drilled and everything, overflow box with the stand. And I just really couldn't believe it. Like, I can't wait to see this tank. So he sent me a picture of the tank. And all I could think to myself is I got to pick up this tank as soon as possible before somebody else get their hands on. So I called a buddy of mine, um, a brother of mine named Brian. You know what? Let's go pick up this tank. So I empty out the van um, and we went. It was 30 minutes away. So I drove out. You know, the guy gave me the address. I drove out there and I went to go pick up the tank. And um, I was amazed once I seen it. It is really 90 gallons. And I already have my sump. I already have all my equipment from the 125. So really, I don't have to buy anything but sand and rocks. The sand is already on the way. I got to get the rocks. Now, the rocks is something I'm going to take time with. So to make sure that it's, you know, that my rockscape look really good and really clean 
and that's what I'm gonna take my time with is my rock scape this time I'm not gonna rush it I'm gonna take my time with it so guys here goes the 90 gallon meet my new tank Sebi now if you guys wonder where the name Sebi come from that's from my uh, a little brother of mine actually a cousin but he's like a little brother of mine and so filled with joy and when i seen this tank i'm like okay i always name my tanks after a family member as you can see i never named the 40 nouveau because i really didn't like it but yes i'm naming this one after my little cousin sebi and um i'm excited i'm i'm about to clean this tank out you know and really have it running and i spoke to paul and um and paul you know uh, gave me um, an idea of using bacteria that he used to start a tank that he has up. So thanks a lot, Paul from the UK, that's a great guy. Um, so I'm about to get this up and running and I will keep you guys updated. I really appreciate the love. Thank you for taking the time out to checking out my channel. Peace out, God bless. Love you guys, until next time, peace.